Do you have a public restroom? Hello. Today I'm going to be exploring Murphy's Ranch, an abandoned Nazi sympathizer compound that was built in Los Angeles, California in the 1930s. These people were actual Nazi sympathizers. They built this compound in hopes that Germany was going to win the war and when they come to occupy the United States, they'd have a place to stay. These weren't people that just tweeted something like, men shouldn't compete in women's sports or you should have an ID to vote. These were actual Nazis. These are the good old days when you actually had to support the Nazi party to be called a Nazi. So if you're hiking here on foot, here's one of the many staircases you can go down. Here's the second staircase you can take down. And this leads to a water storage tank. They built this compound to be self-sufficient so they could generate their own electricity and store their own water. Here's one of the few staircases going up. I believe this one goes to the water storage tank, but from the bottom. And the video is not gonna show this, but that is extremely steep. There's no way these are up to code. This road's in a state of disrepair, and somehow it's about as good as the average road you see in Antioch. This was the gardens. And here you see the world famous Murphy's Ranch horseshoe pits. Oh, just because they wanted Germany to win the war means they can't play horseshoes? This remnants of their water system. Up the hill is that big water storage tank. You know what this is? The pages of our junior high school books come to life. Every square inch has been scribbled over. These people sure knew how to pick a nice piece of property. The day after Pearl Harbor, the United States government came here and evicted everybody and took over the property. And ever since, it's been abandoned. Not even the trees were spared. I'm not sure what this was, possibly a little bomb shelter. But the dedication of the graffiti artists out here is unparalleled. People even climbed into there to cover every square inch. Breathtaking. Somebody left some Mother's Day messages out here? Even the cactus got it. Murphy's Ranch is like the physical embodiment of a 2023 rapper's face. Outdoor barbecue pit. Bet you they saw some epic cookouts here. Here's the remains of another house on the Murphy property. This belonged to their stepdaughter Shelly Murphy. You can see this 
bathtub is still intact. Lucky for you guys, this property right here, as is, as a fixer-upper, is about to hit the market in California, asking $6.3 million. It is a total of 400 square feet, nice, well-maintained private driveway. So be sure to get your bid in early if you want to walk away the new owner of this property on Murphy Ranch. Don't you even dare think about going over that fence to visit those ruins. Bob and Michelle Murphy bonded over their mutual love of staircases. Only later did they find out they wanted the German army to win the war. I just walked all those stairs for this. If you love doing the stair stepper at the gym, then you're gonna love Murphy's Ranch. Lizza is Lizzo's less famous sister. One day, Bob and Michelle Murphy were sitting here having dinner and just thinking, you know, honey, you know this dream compound we built with our life savings and surrounded by 16 miles of staircases? You know what we should do? We should totally let the German army stay here and occupy it if they win the war. That's a great idea. This is, this is true, go ahead and fact check it. I read it on Wikipedia. I don't let my family stay at my house for more than a day or two. And that's pushing it. These people are nuts. Scared right now. I just saw another hiker here and I waved and he went like this. I was like, you know what that means? And this is a Nazi sympathizer holdout. Oh, uh, I guess he could have just been waving though. Oh, anyways, that's gonna do it for Murphy's Ranch. You know what, if you love stairs, graffiti, or if you just want to come out here and spray paint a nice, gigantic dick, then this is the place for you. So make sure to come and check it out if you're ever in the Los Angeles area. I don't think that sign's working out the way they thought it would.